afternoon. Today I'm gonna to be felting a teacup fairy garden. Okay, so what we need to start with is a coffee cup or teacup. You can get a teacup with a little saucer. Uh, this is a good thing to get at a thrift store or uh, I just went to basically the local dollar store. Um, so a good size cup and then we're going to, um, I use wool as a base. So I'm just gonna use some wool of a color that I have a lot of extra. And we're just going to put it down into the cup and felt it. until it's a little more compact. That should be good enough. It's very loose, but it's it'll take the shape. So what we're gonna do is we're going to use a little bit of this epoxy glue and just run it on the edge of the inside of the cup here. Yep. And then we're just going to place it in there. Now we can start with the grass here. So I want to use a lighter green color here. Nice bright green grass. Place it on top and then just start felting it down. Now our foundation is done, so we can start making our little toadstool and little trees and flowers and stuff like that to decorate it. So we're going to start with a little toadstool, which means I'm going to need some white. Making the little fairy house. the base or the stalk of the, the mushroom. We're going to use a little of this red color here to make the top. So it's going to fit on like this. So I'm just gonna put it on and then I can shape it better.
right, so now the toadstool's ready, so we're just going to apply the door. I'm gonna take a little of this light tawny brown color. When you've gotten the shape of door you want, I've opted for like a, a round it, like it's rounded off on the on the top. Then we can uh, add a little detail to make it more intricate. So I'm going to use a little bit of this brown here. Trim the edges here. Now the trim is done. So now it's a wooden door, it's, so I'm going to add some planks here. So I'm just going to use some more of this brown and, and create some lines across, just to give it a little more detail. So just small, thin strings of the wool. Start at the top and just drag them down vertically. And now it's going to need a little doorknob, so I'm just going to use a little bit of this. There. So the door's done. And then it needs a little window, so we're going to put the window on the back side here. So I've got yellow, so it looks like there's a light on inside. Just place it on the back here and then felt it into a rectangle or a square shape. Now we're ready to frame it. So we're going to use the same brown that we used on the door. And we're just going to start with a cross in the center. So we do a vertical line from the center. Follow that with a horizontal line where it meets in the center. Like so. Now we're ready to frame it. And take a longer piece.
little window. So the door on the front and window on the back. And now we need to decorate. It needs a little chimney. little chimney and now we can decorate it with some little spots ready to mount it into the cup so I'm gonna put it about here and then I can just so now it's in place uh, and I'd like to make a little path So we're going to take some of this brown here. I'm going to start it at the base of the door. We get a little path leading from it. And now we get to do the fun stuff. We get to decorate with trees and flowers and rocks and stones and kind of embellish the whole thing. So I'm going to start with some shrubbery. Um, and for that I'm gonna use some different shades of green. Make um, tree to begin with. Okay. And then we need the trunk. One little tree. Make some other trees here. We're gonna make a little conifer.
Okay, so when you get the, the shape you want, and you take a little bit of this green and you stretch it out like this. I'm going to take it, just felt it into the tip. like so, and then we're just going to drag it around. We're just going to make a couple of more of those. do a couple of little bushes now we have our shrubbery and we have our house mounted so what we can do is we can start putting trees and stuff in place got all our little trees and shrubbery in place. Now we can decorate with stones and flowers and little mushrooms and stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to do next. more little embellishments here. Okay, now we're going to decorate with little, some grass and some weeds and stuff that are growing a little very scary everywhere. Okay, so we're gonna take some of this like this, and we're going to <clears throat> here by the road. This is just to create a little texture and 
like that. And then we're going to twist. I don't know if you can see that I'll bring it down like this. And we're just going to twist it. My fingers are in the way here. Maybe we decorate just a few little flowers here and there. Nothing with too much detail, just a simple. Hope you liked my video. Uh, if you like my content, please like and subscribe. You can find me on, on Facebook at The Hobby Bird or Robin's Cozy Creations. I'll put the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Bye.